All right, welcome back to Spelling Kitchen Words with Mr. Leolis. Today we'll be spelling kitchen words. So get your letters of the alphabets out, A to letter Z. Don't forget your double letters. And this week's lesson is about storing our food. So when we go to the grocery store, we come home and we have to store our food. So the first word we're gonna spell is the word store. All right, find me the letter S. And now find me the letter T. The letter O. The letter R. And the letter E. And we spell the word store. So where do you store your food when you bring it home from the grocery store? Do you put it in the fridge? Do you store it in the freezer? How about the cupboard or the pantry? So let's explore some of these words. So the refrigerator or the fridge. It's a place to keep, that keeps our food cool. So let's start by spelling it with the letter F. R. I. D. G. And the letter E. Fridge. So things that belong in the fridge, think about some things that you put in your fridge and what you store in the refrigerator. We definitely store food that needs to be kept cool. So things like milk, cheese, any kind of yogurts, fruits, and vegetables. All right, below the fridge is the freezer. So let's spell the word freezer, the letter F. The letter R. The letter E. The letter E again. The letter Z. Another letter E. And the letter R. Freezer. So what do we store in the freezer? We store our meat that we buy from the store, like chicken and steak or ground meat. We can store frozen food. So if you buy any food that comes in boxes, you can put that in the freezer, like pizza or french fries. Um, you can also store any kinds of bags of vegetables frozen vegetables, so those are stored in the freezer. The cupboard is another place we store our food. The cupboard, it's a big word, so let's start by spelling it with the letter C. U. P. B
O A R and the letter D. So what do we store in the cupboard? Some things we put in the cupboard. Cupboards are generally used for dry groceries. So things like maybe our loaf of bread, crackers. What else do we put in the cupboard? Any kind of canned food. If you have canned beans or canned corn. Uh, we also store our pasta. So our spaghetti and rigatoni pastas. So those are all things that go into the cupboard. And our last word we're gonna spell is the word pantry. And a pantry is very much like a cupboard. Just a very big kind of closet that might be in your kitchen that has lots of shelves. So let's spell the word pantry. P. A. N T R and the last letter is letter Y Pantry so pantry, like I said, is a very big closet that could be put in your kitchen. And it has a lot more room to store things like even our cans of pop or juice. But you can definitely put some dry material or if your cans of vegetables, any breads and your pastas. All right, thanks for joining us with Spelling Kitchen Words with Mr. Leolis. We'll see you next week for next week's lesson.